Alright. We're here. We're back. I'm just gonna roll a cigarette before we start talking. And she dropped the papers. Yeah. Well, move. Well, sorry about my funny face. Yeah, that's just a bus thing, you know, every now and then the head goes out of shape. It's okay. We'll get it back together, see you. Do? Yeah. Not very good. But you've got this special camera that makes me look kind of normal. But every now and then it stops working and my head goes a bit funny, you know, it's starts to like, go back to how it was, looks, you know, because I'm like elephant man. Anyway, I was just going to tell you about this, uh, this, this new thing that happened to me. Um, I, uh, I got a new house. Yeah, and I moved to this place called Yankalilla. Yeah, it sounds like Wankalilla. <laughs> yeah, you take a look at some of the locals and yeah, you're pretty well right there. The name really suits the place. I mean, anyway, so I get to this place, right? And, you know, you know that I've been looking for buses, and you know, then I found them now. I can find bus stops now. So anyway. I found a bus stop down in the main street, but you know what? The bus won't stop there unless you book a ticket, and you have to ring up a company to book a ticket. You can't just ha catch the bus. Okay, and it only stops at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's it. Mate, what am I going to do the rest of the day? To sit there all day? I don't know what to do. So I decided I was going to go and have a talk to the council. And these these councillors. These council people, you know, I looked to the front desk and there's this girl, you know, she wasn't, you know, she was sort of, she knew a little bit. She put me onto this guy called the CEO, Chief Executionable Officer. I reckon that that's sort of what his name sounds like. So anyway, this this executionable officer. He says that uh, there's not enough people here to catch buses. Well, I was looking around and I can see lots of people who like to catch a bus. But I reckon that the reason no one catches buses here is because there isn't any. I mean, if there was a bus, maybe people might catch it. You know, it would be useful. You know, you could go somewhere like... There's a nearest town is called Norlunga. No longer. God, Yankalilla. No longer. Halfway is a place called My Ponga. I could tell you what, right? My Ponga, Yankalilla. No longer. Man, it sounds like they're selling body parts. Anyway, we're, um, yeah. So, anyway. There's not much this chief executionable officer could say to me about it. It's just that they're not going to get a bus. And, and you have to ring this company and pay for a ticket. You know? It's like, well, that's pretty useless, really, isn't it? But anyway, so I'm stuck here now. And so, no buses. I've just got to sort of, like, well, Walk, I suppose. And no longer, it's like 30 kilometres. Long walk. There's this other town called Normanville. That's where all the normal people live down there, at Normanville. And uh, they've got all like little, everything's normal. And they will act normal. You know, not like up at Yankalilla, they're all like, I don't know, they're a bit different. Big country, you know. Well, I suppose they've been yanking for too long, and all sort of forgotten what things are about. Just too busy having a big yank. But anyway, not much more to say about this place apart from the fact that there's no buses and you can't go anywhere. You just sort of got to go and stand on the street, or you know, you can go down and stand outside the bakery. I mean. There's some old dude who's so bored here, he goes down and sweeps all the gutters every week for no pay, for nothing. 
just sweeps, sweeps the streets, doesn't get paid. He's bored shitless, this guy. Obviously, I mean, I wouldn't go on street sweeps for no pay. But, I might talk to this chief executive officer about getting a job on council. I mean, uh, you know, obviously they need a street sweeper or, you know, because they can't afford, you know, like they have to have old men do it. Anyway, I'll better get off the phone because, uh, this is getting boring. I'm not talking about anything tonight. I'll find something else to talk about tomorrow when I've 